When you are dealing with data in Excel and manipulating, you are likely to get few errors. In this lecture, I am going to show you what these errors are and what do they mean so that you can take informed decisions on how to fix them. In front of you is the list of most common errors that you will see in Excel. I am going to go through each of these one by one and explain what they mean. So let's take a look. Hashtag name error occurs when a cell tries to reference a cell that does not exist or calls a function or a formula that is not valid in Excel. Let's take a look at this error in an Excel worksheet. Here is an Excel file that contains some campaign data. So you have a campaign name, how much you're paying per click, that's cost per click, number of clicks, and then how many conversions and actions you are getting. This is a very common type of data in marketing analytics. Conversion rate and cost are two calculated fields. To calculate the conversion rate, you take number of conversions and divide it by number of clicks and then multiply it by 100 to get the conversion rate. However, as you can see, there is an error in this formula. So click on this formula and then click in this bar up here to see which columns are being referenced. You can see there is a D2 being referenced. However, there is also division by clicks. Clicks is neither a column reference nor a defined function in Excel. So this is clearly a mistake. What we needed to do in this case was divided by this column. However, whoever was typing this formula made a mistake and typed in clicks instead of referencing that column and hence you got an error. So in order to fix this, click on the formula again, highlight clicks because that's what we are going to change. And instead of clicks, click on this column value. And now you got C2, hit tab or enter to go to the next column or row. And here you have the conversion rate. Now you know how to fix such errors. Now let's take a look at hashtag ref error. This happens when a cell tries to reference a cell that can't be located. So you've written a formula and you're referencing another cell that is in another worksheet or workbook. However, that sheet or workbook cannot be found. This generally happens when you delete a worksheet or workbook that was referenced, but it doesn't exist anymore. So let's take a look in Excel to see this error in action. Here I am in the Excel sheet. I have gone and filled this formula here. You can see conversion rate is being calculated. Click on this column and you can see that it's referencing to sheet three, B3 column. So which is right here, sheet three and B3. This is the column it's referencing to. So let's go back here. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete the sheet. So right click on the sheet and delete. Yes, click on delete and now it's deleted. So let's go back to errors and you can see now hashtag ref error is showing up. Your formula here shows that there is an error. The sheet that was referenced here is gone. So what you need to do in this scenario is go ahead and fix this formula and point it to the right column. In our case, we need to fix this whole value because rather than referencing to another sheet that doesn't exist in the B3 column, we are going to use the click column from this sheet. Go ahead and hit tab and you're done. When manipulating data, we do end up deleting a lot of sheets and we do end up moving stuff around. So as a result, you will see hashtag ref errors. All it is saying is, I cannot find the reference that you have in your formula. So please fix the reference. And once you fix the reference, that is point to the right cell, then the error is fixed. Now let's take a look at hashtag div by zero error. What this simply means is that you're trying to divide a number by zero or an empty cell. Anytime you try to do that, it's going to give you this error. So here I am in the Excel sheet. Now let's calculate the conversion rate for line number four. So in order to do that, I can simply copy the formula from the line above and paste it. However, 
you'll see you got division by zero error. Why is this happening? The reason this is happening is if you click on this column and look at the formula, it's trying to divide D4, which is this column, by C4, C4, which doesn't exist. Even if it existed and had zero value, you will still get the same error because all you're trying to do is divide a number by zero or nothing. You can't really do much to fix this error. The only way to fix this error is to get the accurate number of clicks instead of zero. Now let's take a look at hashtag value error. This occurs when an invalid value, wrong type of value, or wrong number of values are being supplied as argument to a function. Let's go to Excel and see this error. So here I'm in the Excel again. I'm going to use the conversion rate formula again and this time for line fives. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it. There are zero conversions and you have 109 clicks. So you got 0% conversion rate, which is fine. This is how it's supposed to work. However, a lot of times when you get the data from third party, from internal sources, rather than having zero, they might just write not applicable, sort of like NA or some other value. If this comes with NA because there are zero conversions, they decided to put not applicable. Go ahead and enter. And now you can see that error. Error is occurring because this formula is expecting a number type as an input. However, it got a text type, which is NA. The way to fix this error is to go ahead and make sure to put numbers wherever you see a text value. So once you fix it to zero or even an empty string, that should take care of that error and fix your calculations. Now let's take a look at hashtag num error. This error generally happens when the calculations that you are doing in your formula evaluate to a value that's beyond Excel's capability to handle. It could either be too small a number or too large a number, but a number that is hard for Excel to handle. Trying an impossible calculation is another one where the calculation doesn't make sense. In that case, this error will be thrown. An iterative formula that fails to find an answer. So if it's going through several iteration to find an answer, but can't find it, then it'll throw this error. Let's go to Excel and I'm gonna show you where you can possibly get a number error in your calculations. Here I'm in Excel. In your campaign data, there are three more fields added, start date, end date, and number of days. Number of days is a calculated field that calculates how many days this campaign ran. So it's a difference between start date and end date. In order to do that, I'm going to use an Excel formula called date diff. That formula finds the difference between two dates and can give you the difference in year, month, or days. We're gonna use days. So go ahead and click on this field and type in date diff. It takes three parameters, start date, end date, and a parameter that signifies what you want to measure. For number of days, put in D. For number of months, you'll put M. And for number of years, you'll put Y. In this case, we'll leave it at days. So go ahead and hit enter. So here you have it, 118 days between start date and end date. Let's go ahead and fill this formula all the way down. And here you have an error. Why is that error occurring? So it seems like there is something wrong in this record in these two dates that's causing this error. So let's take a look. Here is your start date. It's on July 18, 2019. And end date is October 5th, 2018. So it seems like whoever was entering this data made a mistake. Rather than writing 2019, that person wrote 2018. And from Excel standpoint, you need two dates, start date and end date. Since end date cannot be before the start date, it's throwing a number error. It's a calculation that it does not have an answer for because it needs a start date, which is before the end date. In this case, there is a mistake. Since you know the mistake, go ahead and fix it. 
rather than 2018 let's go ahead and type 2019 and that error is fixed to recap here are the errors that we covered in this lecture if there are other errors that show up we will cover them as we go through other lectures